alaikum hello everyone today we'll continue uh, in solving differential equations using Chebyshev uh, differentiation matrix but first of all we'll see what is tensor product or Kronecker product because it has many benefits in solving PDE so we'll see what is tensor product if we have matrix P by Q A P by Q tensor product with a mat another matrix B uh, which has uh, R row S columns we got a big matrix PR by QS if we take an example 2 by 2 tensor products with 2 by 2 matrix we got 4 by 4 matrix uh, we can do this operation by the command wrong command in MATLAB we will see this small example which uh, clear screen this is uh, the symbol symbolic products of 2 by 2 matrix with 2 by 2 matrix we got this results the same uh, here this is uh, the matrix B and uh, 2 the matrix A 3 uh, 2 the matrix B 3 the matrix B 4 the matrix B this is 4 by 4 matrix we can use this utility to do the Laplace operator 2D Laplace operator this is the identity matrix n plus 1 by n plus 1 tensor product with dn uh, dn is the Chebyshev differentiation matrix to the power 2 plus dn to the power 2 tensor product with the identity matrix n plus 1 so by this operation we can get the Laplace operator and this two lines of code uh, can give us the matrix of Laplace operator D2 is the differentiation matrix of Chebyshev to the power 2 then we get L is the matrix of Laplace by Cron command identi identity matrix D2 plus Cron command D2 I and this two lines of code we can get the Laplace operator of course we can use the cron command to get uh, to other operators like this the, the, the second de derivative of x and y which give us dn to the power 2 tensor product to dn to the power 2 and also we can get the 3D Laplace operator uh, simply by doing this uh, tensor multiplication uh, we take uh, the identity matrix n plus 1 tensor product to the identity matrix n plus 1 tensor product with dn to the power 2 and so on and by this operation we can take the Laplace operator in 3D and we can uh, for example this uh, differential operator we can write it as this where uh, the first term here the third derivative with z we put uh, d to the power 3 uh, of course we can use the tensor product with the finite difference uh, the, the the matrix of the first derivative we can uh, we can 
uh, take it as sp sparse matrix by uh, this example we take a 3 by 3 matrix and the first derivative we take the sparse matrix by the command of spdiag and we can put the full matrix D um, the second derivative um, we have one um, here and minus two in the diagonal and one in the uh, i minus one so we can put uh, so we can write the differentiation matrix by the sparse matrix the second the first derivative and the second derivative and if we use the cron command we can ex uh, express the laplacian operator by this form l equal, equal to cron i identity matrix d2 d2 is the second derivative plus cron d2 uh, i and we we get the first derivative matrix as this form and the second derivative matrix has this form and the Laplacian operator by two lines of code we can get this form this is n, uh, n square by n square matrix and uh, since here we have uh, 3 by 3 this is 9 by 9 matrix we'll see here an example of solving uh, partial differential equation which is uh, 2d diffusion equation which has this form du by dt equal minus the Laplacian operator of u and the Laplacian operator we can explain, uh, express it by this form and we can use uh, the cron command to, uh, to, to give us this matrix if we take d2 is the second derivative of Chebyshev matrix equal to d square then the Laplacian operator equal to cron i either the identity matrix d2 plus cron d2 i and we will take the boundary condition as Dirichlet boundary condition that's u equal to zero on the boundaries we now begin uh, writing the code uh, clear all, clear all variables in the workspace window, close all figure windows, then we take n equal to 30 points and we calculate the differentiation matrix by this uh, chip command. We put only n, then we get the differentiation matrix D and the collocation points X. Um, if we need the second order derivatives, we take d square. So d2 is d equal to d square. This is the second order derivative. If we take y equal to x, and uh, we uh, we have seen that the Dirichlet boundary conditions or all the boundary condition, we can put it in the first row and the last row of the differentiation matrix D we first built D22 equal to B2 this is the second order derivative and then we put the boundary conditions the last row is D22 and two dots equal to zero these are the Dirichlet boundary conditions and that's the first row D2 2, 1 equal to 0 n plus 1 and if we take the identity matrix i equal to i uh, n by n uh, n plus 1 by n plus 1 then we get the Laplacian operator which we have seen that uh, cron command by cron command cron i 
d22 plus cron d22 i and this laplace operator uh, have in it the boundary conditions we take here the initial the initial uh, value of u equal to Gaussian function and if we plot this initial uh, function we can get uh, this uh, this shape so we have this is the initial condition uh, which is Gaussian um, and we reshape this uh, n plus 1 by n plus 1 to a column vector n plus 1 square and after that we solve this equation as an equation uh, of this form du, du by dt equal to au where A is the differentiation matrix of the Laplace. Let us recall how can we use uh, the ODE45 in uh, solving differential equation. We put here the ODE, fu ODE function and the, inter the time interval and the initial condition and options. So we will use this function here because we have a uh, first order differential equation like we said that we have d, uh, du by dt equal to au this is the first order differential equation and we put here our function this is the function right hand side which is a function of u and l equal to minus L by U and this is minus L by U um, so we put, put here the function and the time interval from 0 to 1 and the initial condition is U and options uh, of course when we get the solution uh, we reshape we reshape it into n plus 1 by n plus 1 matrix and we do a for loop for time equal to 1 to 4 seconds to get this solution if we uh, execute this function here in MATLAB Uh, we got the diffusion of Gaussian uh, during time uh, equal to one second to four seconds. This is how uh, we can use chip chip functions in solving uh, partial differential equation. Thank you very much.